And what I tried to do was a, a kind of new taxonomy of, of black America to, to be able to talk about it the way it is and not the way it was. Uh, and I came out with four categories, a, a slim majority, but, but a majority that I call the mainstream uh, that has entered the middle class uh, insofar as we have a middle class left in this country, but um, uh, recession notwithstanding. Uh, and, and, and you look at various indicators, educational status, income, and, and, uh, uh, and all sorts of things. So that's the mainstream. Then uh, there's a much too large minority uh, that has not made it into the middle class. Uh, I call that group the abandoned because uh, the, the likelihood of their being able to climb the ladder that previous generations climbed to get out of poverty into the middle class is, is, is slim and I think getting slimmer simply because so many rungs of that ladder are, are now missing. Um, uh, and then two other groups, a very small um, but interesting elite that I called um, uh, the uh, transcendent uh, group. Uh, and these are African Americans who have wealth, power, or influence uh, on a scale uh, heretofore unknown, not just relative to other African Americans, but relative uh, to anybody in the world. President Obama, Oprah Winfrey, Richard Parsons, the uh, former chairman of uh, Time Warner and then Citigroup, um, folks like that. Uh, and finally, uh, a group that I called Emergent Black America, and I subdivided that into, into two subgroups. One, uh, the uh, increasing number of biracial Americans who self-identify as African American, but whose relationship with white America I think is a bit different as uh, President Obama himself, a biracial American, uh, uh, talked about in his uh, famous Philadelphia race, race speech during the campaign. Uh, and uh, the other emergent group is uh, the um, fairly large number of black immigrants, recent black immigrants from uh, Africa and the Caribbean um, uh, who are the best educated cohort of, uh, of immigrants coming to these shores right now who arrive uh, with intact families, not a lot of money, but a lot of education, a lot of intact family structure and values, uh, and whose uh, sons and daughters are uh, thus far doing spectacularly well in the society and from whom we're going to hear a lot in years to come. With this sort of, of degradation of the uh, of the environment and and the lack of work, uh, the the decline of the public schools, and frankly the diversion of our attention, society's attention, away from poverty, away from uplift, uh, as a national mission, I, I don't know how uh, how we're going to change things. I don't know how we're going to rescue the abandoned uh, uh, unless we decide to do so and to, to, to concentrate uh, the kinds of resources that you really need to make a difference.